We are live. Can you hear that noise upstairs? <laughs> Let me go close the door. Hi guys. So, we just spent $575 on some glass. We're gonna list it and I'm gonna keep track of how much in listings I make from this buy, but I have three boxes full of uranium next to me. I already set up the cabinet upstairs. So we're gonna list it and I'm gonna do it live because, uh, yeah. So I got my, got my handy dandy little dusting rag here and we're going to keep track of how much in listings. So let me get everything cleaned off here. Today is a good day. It is a good day. It's beautiful outside. It's like, it's supposed to be 65 today. Well, I guess it's already 314, so I don't know what it is now, but it is really nice out. Yeah, you got tickets to Aftershock. That's exciting. The lineup looks cool. Okay guys, we're gonna get started on this buy. Because there's so much to get through. I forgot how many pieces. It was like, what was it? Was it like 70 something pieces? Let me look back on it. But I went, I had to drive about an hour and a half round trip. It was about 45 minutes away. Went and bought this glass bike. Came with a cabinet. So I could count, like I said, it was $575 for this buy. I could count that, um, like, a hundred of it was for the cabinet to make it 475 for everything. That just makes my margins a little bit better because of course the cabinet's gonna be used to store this glass that I'm gonna sell. Uh, how many pieces are there? 47 pieces that do not have chips. There are some pieces with chips, which is fine. I, I just sold a uranium glass cup set today that had chips, no problem. So. We're gonna get started. So some of the more exciting pieces are like this. It's kind of like a custard glass. Does this go on there? There's a few pieces like this. So I'm going to, actually I might wait because I'm not sure if this is the lid for this. I want to make sure, but we have a lot of pieces here. And I used up a ton of my packing paper. And we're also, guys, we're on my journey to a thousand subs. I forgot how many we were at last time I checked. We also got some of these tea light holders. Where's my pen here? But yeah, all this stuff glows beautifully. Like, this is custard glass, but it still glows. Awesome. So yeah, we're going to get into it, guys. We have a plain little plate. Look at that with a cute little snowflake on it. We're going to check every piece. Even though she said there's some with chips, I'm still going to check. Oh, really? Shekels keep a track better than I am, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm hoping we'll get to a thousand. Oh, we got my cats uh, being little dinguses back there. But yeah, we're going to wipe down every piece, take pictures. I'm only going to list it on eBay. I was going to cross list to Facebook, but I think I'm going to just do eBay. And 
and I've got this little stand here that I'm going to use for this like that and of course like every photo I'm going to take pictures of how it glows make sure my lighting set up really good here there we go all right we're going to google lens this plate and see what it comes up for and like I said guys do you have to worry about any hazmat type of thing when shipping uranium glass no no I don't think so not that I'm aware of if someone knows more than me tell me but I don't think there's like issues with uranium glass like shipping it um so yeah we spent 575 on everything I'm writing it down here and at 575 just oh, I forgot what the amount was but at 575 for the 47 pieces that weren't chipped it came out to $12.23 a piece that's not counting the cabinet that I bought with this which is at least worth a hundred bucks if you put you know uh, that it was 475 instead it brings the cost down to ten dollars and eleven cents per non chipped item so pretty decent I had a little list here that I made with like estimations as I was adding up to see if it was worth it for this buy and that's what I came up with but we're gonna do it as if we paid the 575 for everything total so let's get into it guys so first off we've got this plate with the cute little snowflake on it I love it let's see try to get a good picture of it try to google lens first that's gonna be my first route for identifying this stuff okay I see one here this one's a Jeanette plate I've sold a lot of Jeanette lately it seems like let's see what it comes up with okay this one is listed it's an eight and seven eighths inch plate yep that's this plate um, it's got five watchers at twenty dollars plus shipping where is it shipping from Illinois so we're not too far um, Jeanette glass snowflake uranium plate I got it did I miss anything if I miss anything let me know <clears throat> um I just have a single plate zero sold so since the sell-through rate isn't great on this one plate in particular we're gonna list the cheapest we can hopefully I do see one for $13.99 is it chipped anywhere this one's also got five watchers they're holding it up like it's got a chip the pictures are not great hmm I got curious and just did a bit of research. Uranium itself is used in such low quantity, 5% less by weight. Though can be high in older pieces, it can register a little above background radiation. And some Fiesta wear pieces also. Um, there's like this orange one that is super. But it's generally considered to be so small as to be negligible. Thanks, Shekel. So yeah, this plate we're going to list for, I'm going to do 18 plus ship and see what happens. Um, just to have it lower, but I'm also going to make sure my photos are great. Because photos can make a huge difference. Also, I cleaned up my office, guys. <laughs> Jimmy is here. Hello, Jimmy. But yeah, so here's the first one, guys. I'll show you guys every piece. So here's what it looks like normally. And here's with the plate, or the, the light. Of course, it would glow better if I didn't have a bunch of natural sunlight in here. But we got that one. I've never found uranium glass, then again, never looked for it either. Yeah, one of these pens, these are in the description of all my videos. I carry this around with me all the time. I keep one in my purse and one here at my listing table because there's even some pieces that you find that you wouldn't think glow, and they do. Like, I found a pink piece that glows green, and yesterday my friend came over and I had a green vase, and it actually glowed orange, which was very strange so i wouldn't have known that if i didn't carry my pen with me but yeah you get like a two pack of these on amazon for like 14 bucks really good but it's under my videos not this right now don't mind the noise um i've got my windows open and the kids next door are a little noisy <laughs> but i want to enjoy the weather <laughs> so i guess you gotta pick your battles right Make sure I get some pictures of the plate. Think I would freak if I was eating off something glowing orange. Well, it was a vase. I don't know how you'd eat off of a vase. 
or drink from it. I don't know. Oh, thanks, Shekel. I have a box of uranium glasses I bought six months ago. I need to list that stuff. Yes, it is very popular right now. I listed some stuff on the dollar auction, and it actually went for at or above eBay prices. So that was on my local dollar auction. That wasn't even, like, on eBay. So it's just learning how to ship this stuff. This plate is beautiful. I love that snowflake. And we're going to get a measurement photo, and then this will be our first piece down. And like I said, we're going to do $18 on this, so we'll add $18 to our list here. And here at the end, just like my other glass buy I just did and went live and listed the entire thing, um, I'm going to break down the numbers for you. So however much I made on this buy. Fingers crossed we make a little money. I know we'll at least make the money back, but as far as how much, I'm not sure because there's a lot of pieces that I couldn't quite research from the pictures that I had. So, excuse me. I don't know why I said excuse me. I was blowing a cat hair off of my phone. <laughs> Jeanette, glass, dinner plate, snowflake, green. All right, so $18. This, I'm going to like put a little description. So we have the Jeanette glass plate. Put $18 on that one. All these are going to be plus ship. I don't plan to do free ship on any of this. Also, remember that issue I was having on my last listing live where my eBay app would force close when I tried to put a SKU? Looks like they fixed it, so that's awesome. Thank you, eBay, if you're listening. Um, ground Advantage, we're going to do, um, we're going to do better dimensions on that because this isn't going to be like a huge thing to ship. It's just going to have to be making sure to pack it well. And I want my shipping to be as low as possible. Yes, done. All right, guys, first item done. We've got this beautiful plate. Actually, I need to put in the description, like no chips, no cracks. I will put that there is a bubble because there is a decent like bubble. Um, revised listing so I gotta add that because I like to um, not verify but I like to put anything if there's anything wrong with it in the description of course but if there isn't I want to make sure there we go pocket change podcast is now subscribed thank you so much I don't usually sell something breakable just because I don't trust USPS that's it teach their own um, no chips no cracks there is some bubbles. Oh, there are some bubbles. There are some bubbles in the glass. Done. There we go. Done. Yeah, glass is its own thing. You just gotta you just gotta jump into it. I've shipped things that are broken. That's how I learn. And now, you know, I don't have things that break very often. It's just learning how to ship things properly or ship things without them breaking. You just never know. We got a bunch of these tea light candles, which I'll be listing at the end. We get a bunch of these little tea lights. They're really cool. I think these are Hazel Atlas, actually. So those are cool. We got a few of those. Luckily, I took my wool packing paper and we had a bunch. Look at this. I think this is vintage anchor hawking. Little ball here. Where's my rag at? There we go. <clears throat> We're going to be doing a lot of talking here, guys. We got quite a few pieces, but hey, I'll get it all listed tonight. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. This one's interesting. I haven't picked up a bowl like this before. Oh, and my phone might need some charge, so... There we go. Okay, 6.75. Is that the measurement for this one? No, this is like a 5.75. Hazel Atlas Bowl. Hazel Atlas Uranium Bowl. Oh, there's comms kind of all over the place. Hold on. We got to look. Mmm. Because this 
one is a small one. This one actually measures about five and a half. So, like five and a half across, and that's usually the general measurement. I see a five inch bowl diameter that went for 20. This one's five and a half. I'm gonna put 5.5 in the search and see if anything comes up for that. Um, yeah, there we go. Oh, 27.20 plus shipping. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I didn't expect this bowl to go for a lot. So only one sold though, but the other cheapest is $18.95 plus shipping with one watcher. So I'm gonna do 18 on this piece as well, it looks like. Let's see, where's my cell similar button? Hello, there we go. So we're gonna do 18 on this one. This is the Hazel Atlas Bowl. And we're gonna put the 5.5 inch, that's $18. So, there we go. So I'm gonna take one photo of it normally. Then we're gonna take one photo of it with the black white pen on it. Beautiful glow on that one. I forgot to check if there's chips or cracks, so we'll be doing that. So usually I just rub my finger fingers on the edge because usually if there's a chip, you'll feel it. That's how I check also just by seeing it too. But you can also feel so you got to use you know all that but yeah this one's good it's just a little like frosted like it almost looks like it has maybe like dishwasher damage if that makes sense it's got some frost on it but other than that oh my iphone camera is wonky sometimes it likes to like refocus because it's got like three cameras on it and i don't know sometimes it, it acts a little weird there we go Done, $18. So now we're at $36 out of $575 on two items. <laughs> so this is going to take a little bit longer because I am going to get a little more in-depth in the descriptions, like I said, about any damage, um, just to cover all bases with this glass. No chips or cracks, period. I think I'm just going to put that. I think that's about, oh, oh, oh yeah, the haziness, some haziness to the glass. I think that's good. Someone's mowing their lawn right now. I hear a lawnmower. It's one of the first times this year I've heard a lawnmower outside. Actually, the other day, um, one of our neighbors was mowing. It's kind of, it wasn't even that nice out. It was like 45 or something. Something insane. I was like, this is not mowing weather. There we go. Second item done. Can't really hear it. Hi, Andy. Sorry, I missed your message. I wish the freaking chat would stay up on my screen, but I have to sit here and like... There we go. Some people love cutting grass way too much. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. We need one of those people to come do our lawn because I don't like mowing very much. I mean, I'll do it, but. Graham's is here. Hi, Graham. But this might be one of those. Oh, here's another. Here's a little, um, little, like, mini pitcher. Very cute. Very cute. I want to wipe it down. But yeah, so we set up the cabinet upstairs. I'm so excited because. We'll actually have a little display of uranium glass in our living room, and it's like, all of it's going to be for sale, but it's like all of it, you know, um, will be on display, so like, when people come over, they can like see the glass and stuff like that. I think that'll be cool. So it's kind of like a personal display, but all of it's for sale, if that makes sense. <laughs> but I also have like Amberina and stuff too, which I'm super excited to throw in there. So here we go. Next item we've got, this is item number three, we've got this little... Might be like a creamer jar, I would assume. Oh, there's some like, hold on. 
Sorry, that was my shipping scale. Make sure it's wiped down really good. This was this lady's personal collection. Like I said, we had to drive about 45 minutes there and 45 minutes back. <sighs> Got us food while we were out because it was over uh, lunchtime. So let's say dinner time. So this is a... Mm, federal glass or is this anchor hawking hmm we got some research to do what about this one this one says Etsy green is it marked on the bottom usually federal glass will say so no green uranium this is a, a glass creamer dish. Um, it might be, it might be hawking. I don't know. We'll put that. We'll see what it comes up with. Um, hmm. Hi, Taco. What's up? Don't creamer dishes usually have lids? No, I have another set over there that doesn't have a lid, and then I also have a set that I just bought that's the same as that one that I have, and it also doesn't have a lid. Some of them do, but some of these, eh, not all the time. Like, here's another creamer dish. This one doesn't have a lid. Actually, I'm curious about if there is ones with lids. I don't know if this is anchor hawking, though. I don't... Oh, here's that design. Okay, this might be similar. No, good questions, though. Okay, so here's one that's very similar. It's sold for $24.99 plus ship. Right there. Very similar. Not quite. It's got that same little, like, etched the design on it, but not quite the same. Hmm... Oh, I see another one. Okay. I just bought a box about 75 CDs and two digital cameras for $88. Hopefully the CDs weren't bad by. Cameras should make it all back, though. Sweet. Okay, guys. Now here's another one. Just like it. Is this one Ballerina? Okay, so this one has a different design, but it's talking glass, but it sold for 30 So what design is what I have? I need to find this. Mm, I'm gonna keep looking. A lot of research today, guys. I don't know if it's hawking. What was the other Google Lens that came up? Federal Glass? And I don't know if this one came with the creamer. Oh, it's actually got birds on it. I just realized that. Look! It's got little birds. That's cute. And then the other side has just like a flower pot. Okay. Can I put bird in the thing? In the, the search? Bird. Ah, here we go. So it's actually, I think it is federal, not hawking. I'm going to remove hawking. Just put bird. Federal comes up. I see a 15 plus ship as a listed... Some sold. Okay. Yeah, it looks like about 15 plus ship. Dang, I wish it was that $30 ballerina one. Does brand or pattern matter more with this type of glass? Yes, it does. Because um, if you get like a Fenton piece compared to an anchor hawking or a federal glass, you know, so I do have Fenton in here. I don't think I saw any uranium glass at all. We weren't to an indoor flea market. Oh, you went to an indoor flea market? I just went to a antique mall yesterday with my friend, and they had some really cool displays. Sorry, I'm trying to take off my socks there, but they had some really cool displays. Oh, let's see. So this one isn't going to go for much. Unfortunately, it's very cute though, but we're going to list this one for 15 But hey, like I said, guys, with... 575, if I divided it by 47, it came out to $12.23 each for only the 
pieces that were not chipped. So as long as every piece is above that, we're, we'll be fine and we'll make you know profit. So, so far, so good. But that's if it sells for that much. And of course, there's a couple pieces in here that are going to be um, the big money makers. We've got like a mixer, a uranium mixer. We've got some kind of custard glass pieces. I'm waiting to unpack the rest because I'm going to make sure all the pieces are with the right sets. Yes, we are keeping the cabinets upstairs now. I just set it up. Well, Connor carried it in, then I wiped it down. And um, after I list all this, actually all this glass that I bought that was in the cabinet doesn't fit in the cabinet. So I need to like pick what pieces I want to have up there on display. But I did just sell some uranium pieces this weekend. So maybe, maybe I'll sell some off to the point that it all fits in there. Because it's not just my uranium I want to put in there. I want to put all my amberina and my cadmium and all that in there. <clears throat> oh, I need water. I need to keep up on the water, guys. Because whenever I do these lives, my throat just hurts afterwards. Oops. That's cool. I need to find a good cabinet for my action fig. So I'm thinking about doing an antique booth. I don't know if I should do it. I'm thinking about it. I want to like have really cool stuff because like the antique mall I went to yesterday, it was cool, but it was a lot of junk. I want to have like a really cool booth, like with cool, with cool, sh you know, <laughs> I want to have the cool stuff and the weird stuff. I don't know. I want to. I just, uh, that cabinet would be good. I want pieces like that where I could move them myself if I had to. Yeah, I could. Um, there is the one that Steve and Donna go to. I might go with them, um, with this company and see what, how they are. I need to, like, go shop there and just see what the vibe's like without them knowing that I'm interested in a booth. Because I want to see what, like, customers walk into, you know? Um, there is another big antique mall here that I'd like to go with, but I haven't heard great things about them as far as management, so it kind of makes me question if I want to go with them or not. Plus, I got on their waiting list, like, months ago, and they never called me back, so... And it's 75 for, like, a... 7 by 4 booth, I think it was. So nothing huge. Um, so what was this one? Excuse you? <laughs> He's got something to say. Go ahead. <laughs> Sounds like a firework going off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why are you yelling? Man, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> no chips or cracks. I forgot to put that in the description. <laughs> that cat. There we go. So this is the... Um, this is the... What was this listing? Federal... Hello, Jess. That doesn't sound high for a booth. Local one here charges, I think, 125 for a four, four foot glass case. Yeah. And Andy. <laughs> Andy. Wow. Yeah, that's. Hello? You want attention? What do you want? He just, he just wants to be. He just wants to be included. Federal. This is the Federal Lovebirds Creamer. I misspelled Lovebirds. And we'd put it up for 15. So, so far we're at like around 45. We're actually over 50 now. Yeah. We're over 50 bucks on three items. Woo. So here's the item I just listed, guys. Wish we had better flea market here. We only have one. It's ultra skeezy, low quality, almost certainly broken stuff. Orange cat activities. Dang, we had a huge 18 and a half by 7 and a half for $3.90 a month. The solar changing affection. I don't know, I want to do one, 
I want to do it for the content because I love watching booth content. And I like Jess, Jess and Zena at Resale the Ride. If you guys haven't followed them, I love their videos for their booth stuff. Like I love their restock videos, and like I want to do that. But it's also scary to know that I have to source for something else too. But I have stuff here that would probably do good in a booth. I don't know. I, I don't know. I need to talk to Steve and Donna. Thanks, Shekel. Ooh, this one's an interesting piece. Actually, I was looking forward to this. Cat looks like he disapproves. Taco's got he's got resting uh resting bee cat face. Um What's up? Your food is full. Your litter box was cleaned yesterday. What is it you need? <laughs> Anyways, we got one of these really interesting yellow pieces. It's like a little, I don't know what you'd call this, compote. But, ta-da! Very pretty. We'll Google Lens this one. Um, I have high hopes for this piece. I couldn't really look it up because it was like behind stuff, so I couldn't quite tell what it was. Oh! Oh! Haven't seen one that fades to blue. If I get quiet it's because I'm about to have chicken hands bagging it to the freezer. Do they have measurements on this one? I need to see measurements to see if this is the same one. See full description. Okay so this one's the same thing except it's a toothpick holder so it's only like this tall. Look how much it's listed for. So this is a Jefferson Jefferson Swag Uranium. I'm just gonna put that and see what comes up. Okay. What's the solds look like? None sold. Interesting. Okay, what about Google Lens? We're gonna go back to Google Lens. Um. They're calling it a swag with brackets. Jefferson swag brackets. Oh wow, there's different colors of this. Okay. What about sold? I want to find one that's sold that's like what I've got. Sugar bowl? That could be a sugar bowl? I don't know what a swag is. <laughs> I think it might be the design, maybe. Uh, where's the measurement here? Oh, and that one's like got bubbles or chips on it. Okay. I saw a ruler. Four inches tall. I think mine is a larger one. No, it's about the same size. Antique Vaseline. Why is he just sitting there? He's freaking me out. I don't know. And we've got Ninja behind me now. Can I help you? Just slow blinking at me. Okay, so one's over 20, but I think that's underpriced. I hear swag and think, think scientific. <laughs> um, here's another one that sold for 43.50. Measurements, people. Does anyone put measurements in their photos? Or it might be the description. Yeah. Four and a fourth tall. Okay, so this is what I have. Sold for forty three fifty. What's the cheapest it sold for? Or listed, sorry. With this yellow color. That's the toothpick holder. Um mm, 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 mm. that's the toothpick holder. Doing it wrong. Hello, we're listing uranium today. You know about some of this stuff. So maybe you could help me. <laughs> Not that I need help. I'm having fun researching this stuff, but. Okay, I'm going to list it for like 60. I don't know. Who's this? <gasps> Ninja. Okay, cat break. 
Say hello. He said help. This is my 13 year old. Or 14. I have to check. If anyone could get like the stream, that'd be great. Helps the algo. Yes. Honey. Taco's gone now. <laughs> He's over there. Standing by seven. Okay. Um, where is this one that I looked up that sold? You can put the measurements and pictures, item specifics, and the description. Folks will still message you about it. Yeah. I do the photos. That's the easiest for me. I want a little low effort. Victorian Jefferson Vaseline Yellow Blessed Swag with brackets Spooner. Why does it say Spooner? I'm going to put glows, glows. With brackets. There we go. I'm going to list mine for like 60 bucks and see what happens. But yeah, guys, stay till the end because then I will have the numbers for you guys with like how much I spent, how much in listings I've got, how much in profit we should make, um, if it was a good buy or not. I don't know. Spooner is smaller than the celery smaller. Oh, okay. I thought they un they misspelled like with spoon. So thank you. That's good to know. So yeah, Romans in the house. We've got 18 people in here. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I just woke up and realized that time went forward, so I have to move clock back again. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I didn't realize um, daylight savings. I, I knew, but I forgot today, and I was like, dang, I really slept in today. And then I realized that I realized it was an hour ahead. I was like, dang, I, like, slept my morning away. Celery holder. People have enough celery to meet. Yeah. There's this actually really cool cranberry glass celery holder that I've, um... The, my glass guy, he has one. Today, I don't know if we'll make it to 1k today. Ooh, this piece is chipped. Very minor chips, though. I think it's valuable enough that we could still get good money for it. Um, let me get my... Where's my pencil? Ah, oh, Ninja. Do you want to go? You act like you want to go. Ping G is here. Hello. I've seen you in other people's chats. Say bye, Ninja. Oh, there you go, buddy. Love ya. Okay, we need a pencil. That's how I point out. Subathon stops when you hit 1K. Oh, God. Maybe. I don't know. Depends how close we get. Hello, everyone. Just came in myself. Sounds like a fancy people issue to have a celery holder. <laughs> or need one. Spooner is an old-timey thing where you put all the spoons in a glass. They're usually about five to six inches tall. This one's about four and a quarter. But they put Spooner on it, so good to know. Hi, Alicia. You will get there soon. I hope so. We started YouTube about a year ago. I'm trying to get to 1K before the one year. Where's the chips at? Oh, yeah, there we go. Take some pictures of the chips, and I use the pencil to point it out in the listing so I'm not pointing at it with my finger because, like, I don't like like having like my hands in the photos and stuff if I don't have to. They gotta pay extra for that. No I'm kidding. <laughs> um, let's see. One more chip here. All right. Okay, we got. Glowing photo, we got measurements. I gotta add Spooner back in the title, but there we go. This beautiful yellow piece. I love yellow glass that glows green because it seems to sell better for me. I don't like my hands in pics either. Yeah, I feel that. I feel it. So, this is our fourth item. This is the. I'm letting my photos load. So, I'm gonna write this down. This is the Jefferson. Vaseline. I'm going to call it the Spooner because <laughs> I'll remember that. And we're going to list that for 60 because it does have some chips. So, um, condition is used. We're going to put our custom skew in there. And Minor chips on the bottom, comma, please see photos. 
period. Done. Okay, yep, that should be a spoon or Vaseline glass. Thanks. Appreciate that. Ooh, and they have it at three pound shipping. I think I think two is okay. And they have the dimensions way off. Hold on. That should be a little better. I'm gonna add spooner back into the title. Done. And that's just enough characters. So there we go. And we got the glowing photo, we got measurements, we got that, 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 done. We're on our fourth item. Well, this was our fourth item. Use your feet, make a killing, lol. <laughs> we have winter storm morning in Cleveland. It's so dark outside today. It's actually super nice out here. It's 65. Um, did I miss anything else? Nope, okay. Let's keep going. Got all kinds of paper. Gotta stuff it back in there. Wow, you really are gonna hit 1K before one year. Average time to hit that is 15.5 months. On Twitch, I reached it in, how long did it take me? Was it a month to get monetized? Oh my gosh, Shekel screenshotted me holding Ninja. <laughs> and he looked so mad. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. <laughs> Thanks, Shekel. That's great. <laughs> Okay, what else we got? We've got a lid. I'm seeing 939 out of 1000. You're super close. Woo! I'm excited. And guys, we're going to be doing a giveaway, but it's going to be like a secret giveaway. So I'm not going to like advertise it a bunch. But on my like 1000 subscriber video where like I'm like, oh, I hit 1000. I'll be mentioning a giveaway on there. Um, So just so you guys know, since you're here live and seeing this, like... We'll be doing that. Um, like, if you're taking the time to watch my live, you deserve to know. We'll be, we will be doing a giveaway, but it's not going to be, like, I'm not going to be, like, advertising it everywhere. And then I've also got a special video coming up, too, which I'm learning stuff here that I'm going to be putting, but it's going to be, like, a glass video. So I need to start working on that because I haven't even started on it, and it's going to take a long time. So we should probably get working on it, huh? Okay, we got a, a juicer. We got a little uranium juicer. This one's cool. I've sold a few of those before. Uh, while I research this and stuff, I'm going to put my phone on the charger because we've been using it all day and I don't want my phone to die. This one is chipped. There's a pretty nasty chip right there. Oh, and another one right there up here. Um, I'm not super concerned about that because even if they're super chipped and I can't sell them on eBay, I could sell them on the dollar auction too. So, oh my gosh, no, I'm not. As much as I'd love for someone to edit my own videos for me, um, no. I can do it myself, I just gotta kick myself to do it. All right, let's look this one up. And let's Google when's that one. Um, Can I find this anywhere else? Hoping I can win giveaways so I don't have to keep pay paying you to do all this. <laughs> what do you mean paying me? You're not paying me. Um, this one isn't worth a lot. I see an 18 plus chip on this, uh, this juicer. But it is chipped. So I might do like 12 plus chip. I could throw it on dollar auction. It did my uranium pieces I did throw on there. I threw a chipped. Um, it's like a little wine glass or sherbet dish and it sold 15 bucks and that was more than I had it listed for on eBay. So guys, what do you think? Should I dollar auction this or should I throw it on eBay with the chip? Let me know. I'll throw it off to the side here and let you guys 
talk about it. What kind of alien? What do you mean, what kind of alien? Another tea light. Monkey D87 by that time. I will be an alien also. What? What are we talking about aliens? What are we talking about? Another tea light. Hey, what are you guys doing? Like, can you see that? Smack down. Look at him. Look at him doing those kicks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, this piece I was excited to look up. This. Is it chipped? There is some chips. A few chips. That's okay. That was sick. <laughs> I guess we'll see, like, if there's any generic pieces that are chipped. I might hold them off to the side, and at the end, if I'm happy with the number we've got, I'll just throw the chipped pieces on dollar auction, which I'm okay with. I'm confident I'll at least make a bit on the juicer, because that's a really nice heavy glass. Um... I can't find this on Google Lens. What the heck? It's like a boat. You know? Oh, on Google Lens, I end up finding one on Reddit. Pattern is called Diamond Hobnail by Westmore Land. What do you mean dollar auction? I'll explain it. Uh, you always end up with chips with sawtooth, diamond point, or just diamond. I don't know. Here's what it looks like. But someone's saying it's diamond hobnail by Westmoreland on Reddit. Wanna post? Dollar auction. So, here locally where I live, there's a Facebook group called the Lincoln Dollar Auction. You can throw stuff up there. It's a 24 hour auction. Everything starts at a dollar and goes up by dollar increments or like if there's something you really want, you can actually say like bid ten dollars. You can, you know, it does kind of look like a banana split, but how are you doing, Russell? Um, and I throw stuff on there. Um, stuff that some of it I'll delist off eBay if I've been having it for too long. It's just not worth me keeping. I'll throw it on there to kind of recoup some of the money. Um, but yeah, it works out. Um... Westmoreland Diamond Hobnail. What's with the need for all the celery items? I don't know. Westmoreland Diamond Hobnail. Uh, uranium. Yes, Westmoreland Diamond Hobnail sounds right. There's an EAPG website that you can hunt through if you can't find it through months. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Uranium. Done. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm seeing some good prices. I don't see exactly what I have here, though. Oh. Okay, so I can't find it on eBay. Interesting. So, what's the cheapest listed? No matches found. Why does it do that when I... Or is it English hobnail? English hobnail? They're fighting again. Providing you entertainment while I, uh, look stuff up. I don't know what to list this for. 40 bucks? See if someone wants it that bad? So what would this be considered? Did someone say? 
That's a flat celery condiment tray. Okay. We'll put it as such. I got a dollar on the orange cat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need another camera over there, like on the floor, so you can actually watch them. But they move around so much. improve my listing setup I think there's I need to replace my poster board look at him go taco the orange guy he's only three years old ninja ninja has 10 years on him at least Tacos wrestling, yeah. Okay, now I take pictures of some chips. I think I'm gonna have to put countless chips throughout because literally there's so many. anything no okay green westmoreland english hobnail condiment dish what was it celery celery there we go And I'm going to put multiple chips throughout, period. Please see photos, period. I think that's good. That covers the bases because there are multiple chips on that piece. For that, since I can't find it anywhere, I'm going to throw it up there for 45 and just leave it open to offers and see what happens because somebody could be looking for that exact dish. Like this guy on Reddit posted about it because he broke it and it was his girlfriend's. But if someone else's boyfriend breaks their uranium glass dish and I have the only one on eBay. We've got a plate that I don't feel like listing right now because that's not as exciting. <laughs> so we're going to put that off to the side. <laughs> we'll come back to it. We got another little tea light thing. I think that might be all of them. We got, oh, another tea light. Do you all offers on all glass or just some? I allow offers on everything. Unless it's something where I'm getting obnoxious offers, I'll turn them off. Like, if it's like a Pokemon Game Boy game that I list for 50 and everyone wants to pay $15 for it, then I'll turn off offers. Oh, okay, here we go. Beautiful little custard glass piece. So I have a few that are like this in this collection. The lady that I bought this from said she had multiple people ask to just buy those. Got another juicer. This one looks almost exactly like the other one, but it's not chipped. That's cool. I'm gonna unpack some more. Another one. This is what the lid goes to. We'll list this next. This beautiful piece. I love this one. Someone's honking. Wait, did I? Oh, I didn't. I didn't write down what I listed. That's the fifth piece. This is the the Westmoreland 
Diamond. Condiment tray. We listed that for 45. Although, I don't think it's going to sell for 45. I will be pleasantly surprised if it does. Did you get all that glass at one sale? Yes. I, it was a Facebook Marketplace buy, so I spent $575 on all of it. But it also came with a um, cabinet with UV lights in it. So that's upstairs in my living room now. We're going to be keeping that. So, I was saying, you could probably assume that 100 bucks of the 575 I spent was for the cabinet. So, say I spent, you know, 475 on all the glass. Which, with the way it's going, shouldn't be super hard. Oh my gosh. Super hard to get in the profit. But there's some, there are some really beautiful pieces in here. Like, this lidded candy dish, I think this is what, this is what I would consider this. It's beautiful. I don't see any issues. Nice, thicker glass, too. Let's see. Let's Google Lens it. I think I looked this up already when I was looking at buying this lot. Hmm. So someone found this at the thrift store for six bucks. Someone must have ID'd it. Hmm. Uranium glass lidded candy dish. Or it just put lid candy dish. That's fine. I just need to find whatever brand this one is. Actually, do I check the bottom? No marking on the bottom. Oh, here we go. Same one I've got here. $59.99. Free shipping. This is Hazel Atlas. Need some water. See, 30 plus ship, someone took a best offer on 34.99 plus ship, 40 plus ship, 40 plus ship. Safe to say this is probably about 40 bucks. And at the lowest, right now I see a 45 free ship. If you have title space, you would could throw in footed compote. Cool. I will try. Let's see. I'm going to steal this listing and I'm probably going to do about 40 plus ship because that seems to be what they consistently sell out and I don't want to be holding on to a bunch of this uranium glass for months and months and months. So uranium glass, green glass pedestal candy dish with lid by Hazel Atlas, footed compote. Keywords guys, keywords. I'm going to write this down so I don't forget to put it on my list. Hazel Atlas. Footed compote. And we're going to put that up for 40 bucks. Cool. Take some good photos. Get a picture of it glowing. Seven. Be nice. Don't bully Ninja. Every day. Every day, guys. I have to remind him. chips on that lid oh there is a very small chip on that lid on the very tippy top okay that makes me want to check for more is that a little chip yeah there's another little chip right there too tiny 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 chip Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Cool. I don't know, on the 
compote or the dish itself. I don't feel or see anything. Nope. Okay. Let's let those photos load in. I'll show you guys what we got here. Beautiful. I love it. So that was piece number six. I guess I could provide what I've got listed so far if you guys want to know. We're still going to do 40 because mine will still be the cheapest. Some chips throughout, period. See photos, period. Listed. Oh, here's a large one of these bowls. I listed the smaller one earlier, and I think this large one is worth more. There's some like tape on it right here. Seven. Be nice. So this one's the same as that other bowl, which actually I'm just gonna look that same one back up. The Hazel Atlas Uranium Bowl. But this one is the this one's a seven and a half. It's not worth as much as I thought, I guess. Hmm. Hazel Atlas Bowl. Seven and a half. The seven, hate, nine, LOL. <laughs> um, this one's listed at 15 with four watchers. I might also just lift it, list it at 15 with better shipping and see what happens if possible. Possible. Haha, <laughs> get it? Tomato. Like I said, we'll do 15 plus shipping on this one. So this one this lady said was actually her mom's. 
so if she didn't know it glowed for a long time this is beautiful very good shape there is a small chip I see two three four five okay never mind it's got a few chips <laughs> but we'll check it out this one's very pretty And that was one box. Okay, let's see. <laughs> would still be a fruit bowl, lol. Now, are there bowls for tomatoes? What's wrong with these people? <laughs> it's a potato bowl. No, I'm kidding. I don't know what this is. I see one on OfferUp. Like a picture. Um, hmm. I can't find a similar design. Let's take another Google Lens photo. Let's take it from the top here so it can see the whole design. Okay, that's weird. I can't find this design. Floral uranium footed bowl. See if I find it that way. Here you go for you guys that are here. If anyone knows what this is, here's what it looks like. It's got a little spot in it, it looks like. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Floral scalloped edge green uranium depression serving bowls. No watchers, though. Hey. You need to be nice. Seven's about to get put in timeout. Yeah, better be nice. Okay, this bowl, a very similar one, sold for $39.99. Footed serving bowl or footed centerpiece would work. I doubt you'll find the maker easily. Yeah, I see another one here. It's basically the same one for 15 plus ship. That was on one bid. Um, I'll throw it up for 25 How about that? Vintage Depression Glass, come on, Green Vaseline Uranium Footed Bowl Floral Etched Chip, Oops. chipped, I'll put glows, glows, Now we need to point out the flaws. Okay. That was a bit loud. 
Oh, measurements. That's important. this one for I'm gonna do 25 and see what happens okay we need to move that that's not a good spot let those photos upload this is that centerpiece bowl there we go done Chips as shown. Takes forever to load. This is a larger piece. It's probably gonna be about three or four pounds. Okay, yeah, so for this piece, guys, since it's chipped, I'm going to throw it on dollar auction. So I'm going to take quick photos of that with measurements. Um, but those aren't going, this isn't going on eBay. That one goes off to the side. Okay, now I'm going to list some of these custard pieces. Because I think I've got all of them. So, this first one is going to be this little Fenton Bear. Look at that. Still got the sticker on the bottom. And it glows. It glows. Of course, all this stuff is going to glow, guys. But I still find joy in showing you guys the glowing glass. <sighs> okay. Fenton Glowing Bear is what we're going to put. Ooh, someone sent me an offer. One moment. Yeah, sure. We'll take that offer. Cute bear. Yeah, it's very cute. We just accepted an offer. Fenton Glowing Bear. I'm going to put that. Because this is a yellow one, so it's not green. Like green glowing. Um, I see about 30. This one says it's manganese, so is it clear? It is clear. I'm going to put Fenton Yellow Bear and see if something else better comes up. Is this one considered Vaseline glass? I think it is. Okay, so if it's Vaseline, it's closer to 100, it looks like, instead. Yeah. The Fenton Vaseline glass bear. Let's look at the lowest sold right now, or the lowest listed. There's like hairs bugging me. Here's a very similar one. Actually, it looks almost just like it. It says two and three quarter inch tall. Yeah. So Vaseline glass is like this yellow glass. So it's not green like uranium, but it glows like uranium. So there we go. We got this one that's just like it. It sold on auction for 76. So I'm going to list mine just for a straight flat 100. So Fenton, Vaseline, Bear, $100, $100, get some good photos of it.
beautiful. So it's the color, not the glass being greasy. Oh, Vaseline glass is uranium glass. Uh, it is, but it's more, to me it's a, it's yellow, but it glows green. I don't know. I put colors to like types, so that's how I remember it. That piece is very cute. Get my item specifics put in there. I guess we'll total up what we've got so far, but I still have two full boxes of stuff. Alright guys, so so far, if I was to sell everything I've listed so far for my asking price, which, you know, isn't going to happen for, you know, most of the stuff, because I do take offers. We have... Eight, two, So far we're at $336 in listings. Um, like I said, we paid $575 and we have two more boxes full of stuff, so let's keep going. Ooh, here's another one of my favorite pieces from that buy. So custard glass nesting lamb. It's so cute. We're gonna list this next. I love these. I'm give it a good wipe down. It does have some dust on it, so get it cleaned up. There we go. I'm going to Google Lens it first. I do see a marking on the inside, but I don't recognize it, so it might be something that I haven't picked up before. Void glass. It looks like void. It doesn't show me a picture of the inside. Void glass lamb. I just want to see the marking to see if it matches what I've got here. Um, Man, some of these photos, people don't put a lot of photos in these listings. I can't quite tell. Looks like it's about 25 bucks, though. Here, doing it wrong. Do you recognize? It's like a B. Uh, that stands for Boyd's. Duh. We're looking at Boyd's. So, yeah. Boyd would be probable. Just Google Boyd glass mark. Yeah. It's it's literally a letter B. I, w I didn't put two and two together until right now. <laughs> um, Yeah, we're going to list that one for 25 It's a beautiful day outside, guys. I think I'm actually going to do my yoga for the first time, like, this year, really. Like, I'm excited. It's a B for Westmoreland. <laughs> slash S. I would have understood if you said slash S. Oh, that glows. Amazing. Love it. I turn into, like, a child when it comes to glowing glass. <laughs> Like, ooh, look at this. Go, 
what the fun is like. There we go, guys. Three chips on this. Nope, just an imperfection. Oh, what is that? I'll get a picture of that. There's like glass sticking out, like it's from like the mold that they use this for. Here we go. So are these Boyd glass as well? Yeah, they are. So we got like a creamer sugar, it looks like. I gotta look at that. Um, I too become four year old. Look, look, see you close. <laughs> yeah, see. Here we go. Got one of these. I think we have the matching one. Also got some pretty salt and pepper shakers. I have the other one somewhere in this box. Cool. It's like a little divided dish, but it's actually in this like silver thing. Um, we're gonna look this up. Um. I just lost Angry Pig seven times in a row. Rest in peace, Roman. Uranium divided dish. I'm gonna put silver with it because maybe it'll pop up with this container that's in. I don't know. Ooh, I just sold a Monster High doll. Okay, 10 bucks. 10 bucks, guys. Roman's obsessed. Okay, I can't find this anywhere. Um, you good, Taco? You wanna come up? Come here. Oh, Taco, oh, Taco, my Taco man. Say hello. Yeah. He's like, all right, I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> all right, he's going to chill, I guess. Um, a lot of these divided dishes with, like, a silver basket around it, it's going for, like, 22 25 30 bucks. This one's twenty two ninety eight. Is there a mark on the metal base or under the lid? I didn't see any under the lid. Let me look on the base. Crescent. Crescent pewter. Thanks. I didn't even. I don't know what's up with me today. Crescent pewter, and I put uranium. No? I find nothing. Glass? I find nothing. Let me Google it. Crescent pewter, uranium. Okay, here we go. 
You're rolling through multiple boxes of glass while handling a live stream. You're doing great. Thanks. Okay, I see the similar one. Well, they have it for 115 on eBay. That's the only other one I see. And it's not quite the same. Pewter covered uranium dish. Okay, I found a few now. I'll just list mine the cheapest because none have sold, I think, unless anyone knows anything more. Um, Cheapest I see is forty eight fifty plus ship. I might throw mine up for fifty, maybe. Some people have those obnoxiously high, and I just don't imagine those selling. Oops, I might go on a bike ride today. That sounds kind of fun. You either yoga or bike ride. Um, so this is, is it crescent pewter? Where is it? Yeah, crescent pewter. really so maybe i should do more thanks for checking i appreciate that crescent pewter vintage covered dish with green uranium three section relish dish fine i'll do 60. we'll do 60 instead i just don't imagine it selling for that much. Watch, it's going to sell while I'm live. Trying to put it down without slamming it. There we go. That was the silver. Do My YOLO price is 100 bucks. You can't find comps. Okay. Okay. I'll listen to you because you're teaching me some things I don't know. So. Like about the. Um. What was it? What was that word? Spoon. Spooner? Is that what it was? <laughs> Oh gosh, that'll be so embarrassing if that's not what it was. But that that dish. <laughs> you can always go down in price. You're right. You're right. All right, YOLO price, hundred bucks, guys. That's better, such a silver. <laughs> yeah, it is. Brand is. Crescent Pewter He's back. He's back and ready for his next victim. Well, that's loading. I'm going to find another thing. Oh, here we go. We got the salt and pepper shakers. 
I love uranium salt and pepper shakers. Okay, there we go. Um, so we got the crescent. Hey, Taco, be careful, please. Crescent pewter, a hundred bucks. We got the salt and pepper shakers. Careful, buddy. He's our Hazel Atlas. Hazel Atlas uranium salt and pepper shakers. Thirty-five bucks. Forty-one bucks. Yeah. Forty-one on bid. Okay. Um. What else? I want to find like another. Another comp to confirm. Thirty. They took a best offer on thirty. Did someone just really overshoot on an auction? Without the lids, they took a best offer on thirty-five. Is there any chips or cracks? Oh, guys, we'll be finishing my tattoo next week. I'm so excited. Last time I was on, you guys didn't see it, but I had a wrap on it, but we went and did that. Freaking awesome. And then we didn't get to this side, so I'm really lopsided right now. But we'll be finishing that uh, this Friday. This upcoming Friday, we'll be finishing it. So that's exciting. I'm so ready to be done with it. Like... It's been a project. And I don't know what I'm getting next. I thought I was going to do a thing for a thousand, but I think I'm going to save it. So we'll wait. I need to think about it a bit more. It's a bit of a commitment. While I unwrap some more things, I need to charge my phone because it's not going to outlast this live stream if I don't charge it. Oh, I do have my portable charger too. Could always grab that if I need to. This doesn't charge it fast enough. Listing Sergio Tashini bag? What is that? Is that like a fufu, fufu bag? Taco, entertain the people, Taco. Let's see on my phone down here while it's on the charger. Then we'll unwrap some stuff and I'll just let my phone sit and charge for a bit. Okay, phone is charging. 
Oh, salt and pepper shakers we listed for $38. Alright, here's what else we got. places himself on the edge of the carpet and sits there. You're a weirdo. Gone through some Villaroy and Boke dishes. Being jealous of all the reading bus. Some Villaroy can be good. I found some of their, um, like, uh, porcelain postcards this weekend, too. Got a couple of dishes here. I didn't buy them though. Couple of beautiful uranium candlesticks. Great shape too. Little measuring cup. I know this is worth something. What are you doing, Taco? He's sitting there like grabbing the side of the, the carpet, put the paper on the floor and back away. That's not, that's not far enough. Hold on. Oh, he'll be back. Don't worry. Ah, get out there. There. Cool. Okay, you guys can kind of like see my tattoos. Woo! Oh, knocked into something. I need to be careful. Move over. That cat, I tell you. Oh, there he goes. He wanted it. You read his mind. seen to eyeballing at those crinkly noisemakers. I thought all cats were curious. I'm just waiting for him. He's he's charging up. Give him a moment. Block optic goblet. We got two of them, and I just clanked it against something else. Look at him. What is he doing? What are you doing, Taco? Ooh, beautiful. Oh, 
small bonbon dish, I assume that's called. Beautiful. Hello, no. I'm running out of spaces to set stuff. Another creamer sugar, which I have one just like this that is chipped. This one's not. Actually, this one might. Oh yeah, it has chips in about the same spot. Or uh, cracks, sorry. I have a little candy dish somewhere for that lid. I think it might be this. No, not this. Yeah, these are all uranium glass. You have three kitties? I also have three. They're all in here. The other two are sleeping off to the side over here. I currently have five cats had 18 at one time oh my gosh looks like the lid to that creamer you just pulled out not this right oh wait ah oh, there it is yes you're right thank you yes this is a pretty plate 18 cats is a lot three is hard enough for me I couldn't imagine six times the amount <laughs> Or times six the amount. Boom, headshot. We also got from the spy a really cool mixer and this glows, this necklace. Is it branded? Ooh, it does have a marking on the thing. Hold on. We have a marking. I need to get my little magnifying glass. Hold on. Let's see. I need the white. I'm struggling. Hold on. I'm struggling, guys. Ooh, I think it's gold. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, black cat ventured into the backyard told Steve don't you feed the cat he fed her she had four kittens and the kittens eventually had kittens so oh man you got a little predicament there I cannot read this it's so tiny it's so tiny I think the lighting's just not good either
I think it says 12 karat gold. There's a bunch of numbers. I can't quite read it. I'm going to have to look at it again. But anyways, here's this piece. Beautiful. Jeez, taco. <laughs> Demon cat. Anyways. Yeah, I... I don't usually have a problem with this, but I have to really, like, get close. Oh, there he goes. I have to get really close to it. I have to beat 100 key. Very Art Nouveau. Nice necklace. So, yeah, we'll see what, what they come up with. We also got this mixer, which I know is worth quite a bit. That alone is a decent chunk. No, my table's all full of glass right here. Um, yeah. I'm trying to do a good view so you can still see the, the crackhead orange cat in action. See his head right there? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, you little weirdo. There you go, there's a box for you too. We also got a fridge dish lid too. I'm making a mess. Orange cat. Wait. One orange brain cell. Yeah, that's him. He is. Was syrup. Oh yeah, a little syrup thing. We also got this. I think it was on a bowl, but I don't think we have the bowl because it has like the holes. Do you know what this is doing it wrong? I thought it was a cake pedestal in the picture, but it's not. Just a little bonbon pedestal tray. Another one of these. I think I have a second one right here. Oh, this is a larger one. Okay, we got that one. Got a jadeite piece. Bonbon compote, since it has the dip in the middle, probably not a cheese. Thanks. Ooh, we got this one. We got this chonker right here. Love it. Everything is cheese when you use fondue. And here's the final piece. This chonker of a fridge dish. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, and that's all we got from that buy, guys. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep listing. I just wanted to unpack while my phone charges because uh, it was dying. 
Oh wow, it's already charged up like 30% while I did that, so cool. Meow. Wait, doing it wrong. Did you was that you that messaged me on Instagram? I assume that was you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was scared when I opened it. I'm like I was like, "Oh god, did I do something wrong on my stream?" Pretty sure that was you. <laughs> oh, the little heart attack I just had. I was like, "Oh god." Anyways, we're gonna list these beautiful candle holders and be very careful with them because they're in very good shape and I don't want to ruin them. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Cool. Thank you. I just thought, I do not recommend doing this on a live stream. And I was like, oh, what did I do? I was like, I just did something. I was like, did I dox myself? No, I'm kidding. Get the spray bottle. <laughs> okay, now I gotta find these. Those are very interesting. i tell you if you did something wrong. Hell, I don't even like when you say what town you live in. There's a lot of people that live here. This isn't Fostoria, is it? No. Hmm, I'm trying to find what kind these are. Cambridge? No, those aren't Cambridge. Hmm. Having a fun time finding these. Here's what I'm trying to look for, guys. A pair of these candlesticks. Hmm. How to find Alicia? Go to the tattoo parlor and wait. Yeah. You'll be waiting a bit after I get my neck done. <laughs> um, just finished counting the Pokemon cards we got for free yesterday. 1,892 cards. We can make 126 packs of 15 cards for $315. Sick. Love to hear it, guys. Man, why can I not find these? Cause they're not, they don't have any design on them. Okay, then I'm at, I'm at the end of the Google Lens search. Pretty crazy now, if only someone would put out a box of glowing glass for free, lol. Pair of uranium candle sticks. I'm just gonna look on eBay. They're probably worth more than 20. 20 is like the baseline I feel like for, the, for some of these.
Hi, Seven. Hello. This is taking a while. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find the brand. So we're just gonna do kind of like generic. These are a little different, so I'm gonna make sure to get good photos of that. I'll put those up for 30 for, oh shoot what else have we listed we did the pewter we did a large bowl I think we got everything I want to put on here candlesticks we got two of them and I'm going to list them for 35 here we go Done. These are beautiful. Did I miss anything? Nope. I appreciate y'all being here. You helped me get the watch hours too, which is awesome because I need those. What are we at subscriber wise? Have we grown any during the live stream? Last I checked, I was at 928. I'm at 929 now. Woo! We're getting closer, guys. Okay. What else? Is there any easy things? Tree fitty. We'll list this little jadeite cup. Maybe. Jadeite mug green leaves. Amy's in the house. Hi, Amy. Trying to find this mug. All my angry birds just subbed to Alicia LOL. Listening while prepping dinner. What's for dinner? Hmm, I can't find this cup. There was a slight marking on the bottom, but I can't quite tell what it is. Just put jadeite leaves cup. Hmm. 
Hmm. What should I list this at? I'm thinking like 20 bucks, 25. So anyone here from out of town? What do you mean out of town? Out of town? No, we don't, Andy. <laughs> you know how bad that would be if we all lived here? <laughs> oh my gosh. How to get watchers up. Make more playlists and point people to watch them while they sleep. Well, I, I made some playlists, actually. Like, I have a GoPro footage playlist. Ping is from California. Where's everyone from? Put, put where you're from. I know, I just don't want to beg people for watch hours. You know, I kind of want to work for 12 watching the entire population of Nebraska. Yeah, you're right. So this cup I'm going to do for like 25 Chesapeake, Virginia. We got Savannah, Georgia. Oh, Russell, you're close to a uh, dust pop picker, I think. Okay, there we go. Okay, what can we get off this table that's large? Now we can do that little bonbon tray thing. Like, my tables are full of glass. I need a list. Or I need to, I need to ship stuff tonight. Hey, you guys be nice. Uranium bonbon pedestal. I thought it was a cake pedestal or a cake stand, but that's not quite right. Hmm. I'm from Cleveland, Nebraska. My, my Steve was born in Loop City, but grew up in Holdridge. Oh, in Nebraska? Oh, wow. That's so funny. I grew up kind of cl close to Holdridge, I think. Actually, I think that was still an hour from where I grew up. I'm just going to put uranium pedestal. I'm having a hard time.
hard time finding something like this, but it looks like it probably goes for around 20 bucks. It's also etched. Yeah, we're just going to put it for like 20 bucks. That's so funny that you guys live close to each other. Guys, all you resellers up in here. Planes of Profit 2025 is happening. So, mark your calendars. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we still got some plans to do for it. But, keep an eye out, guys. We'll be announcing... I'm not going to say soon, but here in a few months, we should be announcing some plans. Do a West Coast meetup. I don't want to travel for more meetups. You know how much that sucks? That's, that's why we made Planes to Profit, because we were tired of... <laughs> no, but we wanted to do our own event, but man, like all the other reseller meetups are so far away from here. Fine, we don't want you in here. Is it going to be in warmer weather? Yeah, it's going to be a little bit later in the year, so it'll be warmer out. Yay! So safe to say you're coming next year, Amy. <laughs> okay, etched pedestals done. What'd you call these doing it wrong? Like block goblets? I, a non-participating member of the reselling community, will host a meetup that I don't invite you to. <laughs> Only if I'm monetized. Well, Amy, better get on that long form content because I don't know, if, I don't know. Doing it on the short block optic. Uranium block optic goblets. Graydon, hi Graydon, how are you? We're listing some cool glass called uranium glass that glows and I'm totally gonna get um, radiation poisoning or like something like that from this. No. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you're doing great Graydon. The monetization for short form is so insanely hot. Yeah, and that's all Amy does, shekel. Well, urban camp in Santa Fe and buy stuff on the sidewalk. I just consume 4 million calories from eating 1 gram of uranium. Oh. Nice. I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> Block optics. Set a 2. Someone has one for $29.99? I'm going to do 25 Just don't lick your fingers. <laughs> Amy's newest long form video is cool. Yeah, it is. It will give me energy for the rest of my life. 34 minutes. Hell yeah. Beard King Picker in the house. Hello. How was your live? I was there for a little bit and then I left, but I t left it on so you get the watch hours at least. My other two cats are still... Okay, one second. I gotta handle something. My cat's bullying my other cat. We're gonna put this up. He's getting in time out now. And I'm hopefully not gonna trip. Hopefully I won't trip. Seven. Come on, buddy. 
You lose. You lose the game. Oh, let me show him the naughty boy. Here's the naughty boy. He's going to timeout. You lost your office privileges. He bullied Ninja. Go. Get out of here. Being mean to the old boy. Seven has been eliminated. No, he is bullying my... My eldest cat, he bullies him. So I gotta, like, separate them sometimes. He'll sit there and just, like, grab his scruff on the back of his neck and just sit there. To get irritated from uranium glass, you need to grind it up and snort it. <laughs> it's almost four hours trying to to beat beat your record. What? You did four hours? I gotta go back to the Twitch days and do my 8, 10, 14 hour streams. <laughs> right, Shekel? You remember those days? Okay, we're doing the block. Goblets. Your office looks incredible in the new place. Thank you, Grade. You'll get to see it here in August when you come visit us. 25 bucks. Yeah, 14 hours in training to beat your record. <laughs> Good luck. No, I'm kidding. Alright guys, here's the next thing we just listed. These block optic goblets that are uranium glass. We're going to do 25 plus shipping on those. There we go. Let that load. Okay, what do we want to do next? I have some stuff here on the floor next to me. I want to clear off this table, though, I think. Um, hmm. We could do this next. This beautiful juicer, uranium juicer. The one that isn't chipped. The other one I have that's a lot like it that is chipped, that is going to go on the dollar auction. Oh wait, is this like a two-piece? Oh, no, it's not. But it's a two-piece kind of like that. Um, Vaseline glass juicer. So we have a juicer and a reamer, I guess, and they look like they go together, so I might lot them together, even though the one is chipped pretty badly. Oh, I guess juicer and reamer might be the same thing. I was trying to find one that has both with it, because it has the one with the holes at the bottom and the other one that doesn't. I might want them together though. I don't get those. What does that joke mean? What do you, what does it mean? This one we're just gonna do a juicer lot thing. Get the spray bottle. You're right, Andy. Shackle needs to get sprayed, I guess.
me point out some cracks. Where did my pencil go? There we go. And I'll put the lot up for like 20, I'm going to do 29 on the lot. Because the one's in great condition, the other one's chipped, so there we go. Hi Taco. What you doing? You want pets? Oh yes. He wants pets. He's like trying to find somehow to cause a ruckus again. He's like, all right, mom, I'm bored of the paper. Fetch me some more entertainment peasant. Oh man. I'm getting tired, but I want to push through and get all this listed so I can get it all up in the cabinet upstairs. Okay, listed. We'll do this next, whatever this is. Almost like, kind of reminds me of like a gravy boat, but not quite. How many subs are we at? Did we grow any? Nope. No subs. No subs for me. Oh, so it's supposed to be a creamer sugar, but this is the only creamer. Anchor Hawking Princess Sugar. Sorry, not creamer. Sugar. And it looks like it might supposed to have a lid. Anchor Hawking Princess Sugar. And it is previously sold for thirteen or twelve ninety nine, so I'm just gonna do one for thirteen. Oops. Sorry. I just hit you all. Next, I'll find this little thing. That's so cute. I was looking for a box to jump in. Oh, I actually made my eBay app force close. Come on. Oh, 
Let's hope all the pictures saved. Booga booga. Let's try to scare him. <laughs> Okay. Your taco crunching on the paper back there. Oh, so this is a Kellogg's Kellogg's uranium glass. He's literally burrowing into the paper. He's in there. He's in the pile. <laughs> All right, my dude. How many ounces does this one go up to? Eight ounces, one cup? Has no packing material. <laughs> yeah, for real. This one's only got one spout though, not three. to turn off the light. Watch the light, Kevin. I'm getting worn out, guys. I feel like I need a nap. We're gonna push through, though. We're pushing through. The only thing is, we're probably not quite halfway there. So this is actually a Kellogg's uranium glass measuring cup. Okay, next we'll do this little, this little tray dish thing. Actually, this one does need to be wiped down. My chair's making noises. Was this actually an Ellie Smith one? Yeah, that's what it looks like, yep.
Here we go. This is a kind of a boring live stream. I don't know why. <laughs> There's so many of you still here. <laughs> I didn't measure it. Oops. Eighteen plus shipping. We got that on the list. Done. Done. And then we got two of these different sizes. I might try to lot them together. I'll see what it comes up as. But we got two of them. Anchor Hawking Mixing Bowls. Anchor Hawking Mixing Bowls. Oh, I should put uranium, huh? See if I can find one that's a set, like the two I have. Do I have a third one? That's not the same, is it? No, I thought it was the same. It looks very similar, but it's not. Hmm. Um. So there's a lot of three of them that sold for forty four oh nine. So we have the. We have the 8.75 and the 7.75. Are there any that are, that there's a lot of two of them? Yeah, I think I'd probably get about 50 if I lot the two together, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because someone might want the set, I think. There we go. The light, the light. Oops, my tape measure got caught on the rim of one of them and went to move my tape measure and then it clanked against the other thing. That was a oh my goodness, I need to be more careful. Don't mind all the clinking glass noises, guys. Clink. 
clink. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And these are going to weigh probably about five pounds, I'm thinking. There we go. A lot of two. Oh gosh, what did I do to my hair? What am I doing? Wait a second. I had the third bowl. Wait. Oh wait, no it wasn't. I thought it was. Thank God, because I thought I was about to have to do redo a listing. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Let's move all these pieces back over here that I need to list. We're going to do this mixer next, this thing. See, the bottom is marked L and A, Anchor Hawking. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to wipe it down real quick. This is so cool. Inker Hawking 4 Cup Mixer. Zero results. What about Inker Hawking Mixer? Okay. Sold. Anchor Hawking Green Uranium AMG Metal. 33. Well, mine's the four cup. Okay, the mixer is going to be up. I'm just going to shoot for 75 because I can't find anything like it right now. Didn't miss anything, did I? No, I think taco is still in there.
we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20, 21, 22. I have like 25 pieces left to list. But that's not including anything that needs to be lotted together. So we're getting there, guys. Hey, decent amount of listings for today, though. Uranium syrup. The syrup is going to be I see a thirty dollar. Hmm. Is it four and a half inches tall? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're gonna list that at thirty. Okay. Time for my afternoon nap. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Next, we're going to do this sugar jar. Hmm. It's got like bubbles all over it. Um. That should be sugar, right? Uranium sugar with lid bubble. Because it's got all those dots all over it. It kind of looks like bubble wrap. <laughs> That's why I put bubble. Hmm. Any ideas, anybody, if doing it wrong still here? This one? Got like bubbles all over it. Others I'll guesstimate probably like thirty bucks. Green glowy boy. <laughs>
glowy boy. Oh, this is federal glass. Hmm. Save that. Hold this thought. I'm gonna go look research again. Federal. Hmm. Need to adjust. Oh, let's see. I guess I'll list high because I cannot find it. Okay. Now some boring stuff. <laughs> we got a plate here. Looks like it's anchor hawking, I guess. Anchor hawking uranium plate. And this one's just like striped. So I'm gonna put stripe. What size? Six, six inch plate. Oh, this one's block optic too. Hi Taco. Enjoy your time in the the paper cave. Hmm, I'm trying to find one of the six inch plates. <clears throat> Taco, how you doing? Okay, there we go. I feel like the plates are like the boring part of listing uranium glass, but you gotta do it. We've got a few, so.
wait. We got a couple of these bowls. I think these are some of those princess bowls, I think they're called. Federal Lovebirds Bowls, Uranium. These are small too. These are like, you know, four and three quarters. Someone sold four of them for 30 bucks. They're called berry bowls. So I could probably sell two for 20. Actually, someone bought one for 10 bucks. Yeah, we're gonna do two for 20. Love birds, berry bowl, twenty dollars. You hear the dogs? You hear dogs back there? The dogs. It's not a cave mom, it's my hideout. Sorry, I missed your message. Okay, next we got this really pretty large plate. We're not gonna put that one on the stand because it is a larger plate and I don't want it to fall. Spiral anchor, <laughs> anchor hawking uranium plate. And this is the 10 inch plate. So this one doesn't sell for a lot as a single plate. This one's going to be dollar auction. Taco, be careful, buddy. You're running around the place. You're running around. Just because this plate is not worth a lot, so I don't really want to go listing it, you know? I don't want to ship out to spend the work to list this big plate that is only worth like five bucks, you know? 
So there we go. That's gonna go on dollar auction along with this chipped juicer. Pop those off to the side. Next we got this pretty plate. I have high hopes for this one. the one hmm Indiana glass uranium plate size plate is this. This is about the eight and a half. Yeah, this one's going to go on dollar auction as well. It's just not worth the packing material to ship it and to list it. Plus it has a chip it looks like. Yeah, it does. It's a beautiful plate though. Probably get those listed up tonight. Lastly we got, oh wait, we got two more plates. But now that the plates are clear out of the way, it doesn't seem so bad <laughs> with how much we've got left. Mm. I don't know about this one. Actually, I just sold one just like it. That was the smaller version, so. Next, I've got this fridge dish lid. And it's only the lid. So that one might be a hard sell, but who knows? Um, we're going to check it out right now. Plates are less presentable in a black light display cabinet. Just a guess as to why they don't sell as well. Oh. Uh, eh, that's okay. Uranium glass fridge dish lid replacement. Let's see what they've all got. If there's any that are similar to mine. It is pretty chipped as well. Yeah, we're gonna do like 15 bucks. Green depression, uranium glass. Rectangular dish lid replacement.
almost got a list. The pitcher, I'm bringing it up from the floor, and the giant fridge dish, the circular one. Other than that, we've got a few more smaller pieces, so we're getting to the end here, guys. Oops, I forgot to list. Fridge dish lid. We're going to do 15 on that one. Um, shoot, I might have forgotten to put some things on here. Lovebirds berry bowl. I may have forgotten some, which it's fine. We'll have a decently accurate answer with how much we make. the picture next. Etched grape uranium pitcher. That one says eight and a half. Yep, that's eight and a half. Hmm. It's about a fifty plus shipping. Now that I think about it, there was a uranium marble in here somewhere, and I didn't end up unpacking it, so I wonder, I think I know where it is. I saw a little balled up piece. I realized that no matter what I do today, I won't list anything. That's alright, Roman. I guess whatever floats your boat. There was a uranium marble here, though, but I think I might keep that one until I find more and lot them together, because I have hopes that I'll find more. Yes, I lost my singular marble. I think my husband packed that one when we were packing up stuff, and I think he balled it up. Anyways, it's in here somewhere. Okay, this is going to take a while to load, so bring up the fridge dish, which is in good shape. Okay, he helped me pack a little bit. Either way, I'll be going back through all this packing paper as I ship stuff later today. Um, I've got like 24 orders going out, so... Ooh, wings. Must be a wing day, huh? Mm. 
Uranium round fridge dish. Hmm. It's about eight in diameter. Um, hmm. Ooh, nice. How was your live, Roman? I didn't get the chance to stop by. I had friends over. Oh gosh. I don't quite understand what that means, Roman, but I I hope it was a good stream regardless. Alright guys, all the large items are done. For the most part. Oh Jesus. There's like no bumpers on that, so it just slides around. Next time I look up this necklace and see if I can find anything um, quickly, if not, we'll work on it later. Oh, yeah, you said it was good. So, what you said was good. But I don't know what you mean by you broke Santa, but... Alright, let's Google Lens this necklace. Trifari? Trifari uranium necklace. Oh yeah. There's a, a similar one. It's not quite the same. Well, that's what, um, like, I Google lensed it, 
and like this came up. Wait, hold on. Let me make sure that. <sighs> this came up, which is very similar to what I have here. And that's Trifari. Thing is, I can't find any markings anywhere else to prove that it is Trifari, but that's what I'm kind of going with. Unless that's what this tag says up here. I'm going to try to read it again. Let's see. That's so hard to read. Ah, does your phone have a macro setting? Yeah, I'm gonna try that. That's not what it says. I'm just gonna look up like uranium glass flower necklace but it is very similar like uranium glass flower leaf necklace oh it's not glass though Hello, welcome. Ah, I can read it now. Doing it wrong. It's it is glass and if it's uranium unless it's painting painted. I suppose it is glass, yeah. I thought it wasn't, but but also with what you said, um I zoomed in and it does say 12 karat gold filled. Woo! 
I just I have to get um pictures of this damage though. I was able to see it through the eBay app taking a photo that way. Cuz I couldn't get it to f participate, cooperate with me on my like phone, which is weird. You'd think it'd be the opposite. Cool, cool, cool. We found a cool piece, guys. I was glad that's in there. That brings a bit. Alright, let's get through the rest of this stuff, guys. So these I'm going to save since I already have a set that is literally these listed. I'm going to wait until those sell before I list these so I don't get them mixed up. That's usually what I do with any duplicate items. So those are going off to the side. The necklace I'm going to do 75 and see what happens. Okay, next we're going to do, we'll see what this goes for. We're getting towards the end, guys. And I'm ready. I need to go relax and just like lay down and like let my brain be mush for a little bit. <laughs> we're almost there though. Hazel Atlas Glass Sugar. For duplicate items, I like to put a piece of masking tape. Yeah, I've done that with, um, I had two of the same Impoli glasses listed. I used to do that, but I actually had forgotten I did tape on one. So when it sold, I happened to look at both and figure it out, but. It's from the uranium. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm worn out. I also want to paint tonight. I haven't painted in a long time, but I have like. I really want to paint, so I might do that. This one I might throw on dollar auction. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. $12.99. Eh, we'll do it. 13 bucks. Plus, I don't have, um, like, masking tape right now, either, to mark that with. Maybe I should get some. That's like something you find at estate sales quite a bit, actually. So maybe I should wait until I find some.
All right, next we're going to do these, these little custard pieces. We'll see what they go for. Is it considered a cream or sugar? Void uranium. Someone just messaged me on a couple items I had. I'll wait to get back to them. Void uranium tea service. I guess it's like a set. Oh! Oh, it is a set. So, big money maker on the lot, guys. These last four Boyd pieces I have, I guess, are this. It went on auction for $114.50. And I have all four of those pieces, just not in the boxes. Score! So, we'll lot them all together. Um, let me see if any are listed right now. One set listed for 125. It's not the same though as this other glass that I have right now. I'm gonna shoot for 140 just because it's a buy it now and not an auction. Okay, those are done. I'm not going to put those down there. I'm going to put them up here until I put them away. Very cool. Very cool.
Okay. What else have we got? We've got this goblet. Twenty on that. Okay, now we have this plate, this cute little dessert plate. See if that will be on here or on dollar auction. Hi, Tuckle. Yeah, this looks like a dollar auction piece. We have one more listing to go. All of these uranium candle holders that I had left over. I'm just going to lot them all up. There's a few different sizes and stuff like that. Uranium glass tea light. Oh, it did not do that right. Uranium glass tea light. This is a lot of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch the lights on and off one more time. <laughs> Only done that a million times today.
Alright guys, we're in total of everything we listed, with the exception of one duplicate set that I have right now, and the few things that I put off to the side for dollar auction instead, to see if we made a profit on this buy. Oh, I need to put chips throughout, see photos. All right, guys, we're going to add up all of the listings we just did that we spent the past 210 minutes doing to see how much in listings we've got plus 50 plus the fridge dish that was round I think we did 32 on that one I think I forgot to write it down same for my necklace then we did 13 oh my iPad is dying so good timing we're gonna quickly add up these last three all right guys we spent $575 total that was for the cabinet and all the glass out of all the glass I've listed right now it comes out to $1,305 in listings. And that's only the stuff we listed on eBay. Plus we got a cabinet in it. So basically double our money. I'm surprised. But of course that's if everything sells for the price I'm asking, which say, say we take off 300 for discrepancies, it's still $1,005. Take off 300 for what well, put the 300 back on but take off the 575 we spent it comes out to 730 in profit i'm happy with that i say i'm happy with that <laughs> anyways guys my ipad's about to die i'm tired and hungry and i want to go drink some water and set up my uranium glass cabinet uh keep an eye on my instagram i'll show you guys that after i set it up double isn't bad especially with the cabinet depending yeah I, I would say a hundred bucks for the cabinet, but we're going to keep that for now. But if I open a booth or something, we're definitely going to use that in there. Anyways, guys, you guys have a great evening. Um, I'll see you guys later. There's a new video coming out. I believe it's tomorrow. That's all I got. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you later.